Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome back. Uh, you catch me doing a Laufey Blitz. So as a lot of you know, getting some badges are some of the best things about this game. And especially avoiding treacherous attacks from big frozen monstery things. But that's not what this video is all about, ladies and gentlemen. We have some incredibly good news for well, everybody, everybody really, uh, and the game. So I am so excited to announce... The amazing news is that the game is going worldwide. Yes, it's going worldwide on August 25th, which is great. For players that really want to play this game, uh, and do bear in mind there's lots of characters that still need to be kind of like put into the game, and that will take time, I think, from the developer standpoint, because they, they, you know, there's a lot to build with it. But it's amazingly exciting to know that these uh, these times that it's not the 30th of September, it's now a global worldwide release, August 25th. So, yes, I'm really excited about this. It's still been a month, and I'm I'm still like getting an idea of like what is what is good, how the feel is around this, like best ways to get the best stuff. I've got a lot of ideas which should be out by the time of the global release on August 25th, and you'll definitely see in the weeks leading up, the days leading up, some really kind of like uh, in-depth guides as well as overviews on things. And I'm really pumped and I'm really excited for what is uh, going to be a, an amazing experience. Whether or not you play this game on an emulator, which you know we're going to be partnering up with LD Player, or you're playing it on your tablet or your um, phones, mobile phones, I just kind of feel like your best experience will be on emulators and as well on tablets, to be brutally honest. But yeah, to get the pre-registration, there is a link. I'll probably put it in the description down below. But yeah, amazing, so exciting. And I think if you're picking up a game for the first time and you're kind of wondering what to do, collect. Start collecting and start grinding. Go into various different areas and locations. I mean, for me, I've reached level 100 and there's so much more I'm still yet to do. I'm still working towards 100%ing every single area that I go and take it in. Like, don't be so kind of concerned with rushing everything all the time. Just kind of enjoy it. You go into like these lovely made locations, Midgardia, and all kind of like you know Asgard and the areas around it, uh, Midgard, whatever. Uh, it, it's kind of like it's fantastically well done. Hydra Empire, Stark, New Stark City, uh, Sakar. I think my favourites are the, the last two, Sakar and Midgardia. These are open world explorations. Yes, you can also fight a lot of stuff and kind of take yourself through it. Do the side events first, then do the epic missions. It allows you to build your levels, build your heroes up stronger. And I would say as soon as you get to a certain level, probably about like 70 plus, you will find that you will need to uh, build up an alt character as much as possible. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm building an alt, which is Spider-Man. And even though it's not really high, it's like level 36, it is something that I'm running on the background, kind of building them up. When I have to take control of the fights, which at times you will have to do, because like you can't auto fight everything. There's stuff that will require you to do a bit of skill, and especially when it comes to Maestro. But I would say when you reach Maestro, it's probably best to concentrate in improving your heroes. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. As I built up to level 100 with Doctor Strange, I've definitely found there's some limitations with this hero. Also, and uh, more so when you get into your PvP. On Global Launch as well, I think you'll probably see better deals. Because at the moment, the deals for some of the stuff that you get isn't exactly brilliant. And some deals have interests me. And, and I'm, when I'm talking, I'm talking about free-to-play. Like, I'm currently a free-to-play player. Uh, until the game goes global, global and until we see something of a decent spice, I'm not going to be spending any money on the game. But I do plan to because at the end of the day, games aren't built for free. They're not developed for free. And they're not kind of like kept going for free. And as well with uh, with kind of spending money on the license fee, which they have to do to Marvel, it's, yes, games are greedy, but at the same time, money has to be invested into games for the longevity. I mean, look, games can just die uh, from no financial support, because it is what it is. So, you know, putting in a little bit of money here and there is uh, it's, it's helpful to the developer uh, to keep it going. But there are massive whales out there, which do, in some ways, misbalance. But that's another story for another day, another video. And I am considering which deals I want to get. I have contemplated this particular deal for my, um, my Doctor Strange. One downside is that you kind of share gems between all your alts. So you have to in like make one hero, your key hero, which is important. If you're then going like, okay, I'm going to do some arena, some PV, PvP stuff. 
and you've got things like Dimensional Duels, a Mega War. A Mega War is kind of stinky. And then you've got stuff like uh, Battle Challenge, which is actually pretty cool. It's a bit solo. Raids. Uh, raids are great, and that helps you to build your masteries. I'm kind of turning this into a new player guide. I'll do a proper new player guide. I'm going to do a long version, which will probably be about like a 15 to 20 minute video. But then I'll do a short version, which will be a five minute video. Um, just kind of like a comparison. But yeah, um, that's been the video. Just to say, global launch is coming in a month's time. Rejoice, everybody. Get really excited because this is going to be a great time for you if you are a player of the game or a lover of the game and, and stuff. So, yeah. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day, whatever you're doing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.